Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Judy and my YouTube channel is called Doing Life with Judy. By the way, I changed my YouTube channel's name. And today, I have my amazing sister here. Ready I'm to, Rachel. Ready to give you uh, the best content. Yeah. So, going straight to the point. Uh, first of all, guys, let me thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers i'm one so thousand. great one thousand yes one thousand subscribers i'm so happy and i thank you so much and i thank god for you guys in this channel going straight to the point today i'm going to tell you a story on how i had a very 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 bad experience with a radio station in kenya of course but I'm not going to disclose its name. I'm not going to even to di disclose anything about Yani Nawambia to story about it, but I'm not going to tell you about your station in Aituaje. Yes, I'm going to add that. No wazianze kusema. I'm chasing cloud. Yeah. Stakan gives us stories a good friend me. Yeah. So Udiendaji. Uh Someone, I shared my story on Presenter Ali's channel, and then this lady called me. I'm not going to hear uh, her name, but she's a good lady. Taskiza Mbele. So, they called me. I, I remember it was on a Monday, uh, up in July. The, the, they asked me, Are you Judy? Yes, they asked me about myself, about my story. I said, I, I told them everything. And then she told me, Are you ready are you free tomorrow you come to the the to the radio for, station for, for an interview for an interview so that people can be inspired by by your story i told her because of my job i'm a nanny uh and i never wanted my boss to know such things like you're going to the radio station you're going to tell your yeah, story they are so personal and i never wanted to to tell her so I told them no, I can't make it. So nika pigi. At first nili kwambi. Yeah, you told me about this. I came here apa ni kwarech. I came here nika mambi. By the way, they called me. And then she told me, imagine enda, you never know. And then you never know. Nili kwa ni me give up nika sema ah me me radio station na the studio maliko. And then when she told me that, I said ah let me go and try. So she called me the following week. Uh, are you ready so that you can come? I remember the word to meet some. You to meet It was and first of Siju Mwezigani, Siju Agas, Victor Yeah, we were even to go together, then I became sick. It was on a Thursday. I called Rach and I said, Rach, you know, you have to go to And then she said, Yes, uh, 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 accidentally. Akapata ukonjwa kesho yake. So me yeah. I said, ah, kwa ni uko ni wapi ni taenda. Nikajibeba saik. Mimi si nikajibeba. Nika nika oga nika prepare watoto wa mdosi walikuwa kwa nyumba so I left. Uh, like me, I left them and I end up going on and I I I don't like Lying. disclosing my issues so much to people. Mm. And I lied to them that I'm going to see. Gonjwa kinata kinata hospital. Mm -hmm. So ni kapanda gari ni ni uyo ni kaenda. Uyo uyo uyo. Apparently mm -hmm. the lady uh told me she gave she 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 told me. Bila ni taenda. Alikuwa me ni direct. Eh bila ni taenda bila ni taenda. But yon dia ni ambi si kuenda na yo. Ni kana na dia inye. Mm. Nilikuwa nimeambiwa na mtu wa gari yeye yu, ndio yu, yeye nitafika hapo hiyo place haraka na nisipotee. So sikupita tao nikapita mahali pingine. Okay. Si mimi mapema nimesema jamii ya Nairobi unaijua unaanza mapema. Like ulitoka kwa nyumba saa ngapi? Nilitoka ten... saa 4 kamili. Na ile ilikuwa saa ngapi? Saa 7. I mean, you can say, "Matu in Nairobi, you know, Georgia, Mwezi, Jua, 
unaweza enda ukapata jamu utitelewesha mtu anana kufanisha interview na aboeke sio yeah so me i kept time ah wewe msichana alikuwa ameniambia by the way you need to come early ah uh, uh-uh, akaniuliza can you send me the link to your to the story that you shared ni to me presenter uh, apparently like huyo mwenye producer ama presenter producer atumie presenter mm. a watch mm. ajue vile ataniuliza because kwa kipindi okay. sitapeana the story Aperi, the presenter eh yeah. sasa huyo mm. ni mwenye anawatafuti anga stories mm. za hiyo kipindi the producer i don't know whether she's the producer hmm. Mimi nikaenda saa 4 nimeenda nikapanda gari hiyo njia nilipita ilikuwa sawa nikafika mm, mapema saa 5 kamili nimeshafika Kufika huko nikampigia simu kumbia by the way nimefika kaniambia so what you do wewe enda kwa kwa, kwa reception kwa ah, kwa reception yes kuna reception ya chini na ya juu reception hii ya kuanzia mm. <coughs> before ingia kwa unaingia kwa building una sign hapo unaandika vitu zako vitu mingi mingi you sign in yes sorry guys mtoto alikuja akaenda kushughulikiwa so nilikuwa wapi sign in ni eh akaniambia ingia kwa hiyo building inaitwa hivyo hivyo sitawambia jina yake mtaeleza ijua sitaki waanze kusema mimi i'm using their brand to chase cloud na spendi eh so nikafika huko chini nikaandika majina nikaandika ma ID number nikasema naenda wapi nikapanda lift kanifikisha mali nilikuwa naenda kufika huko there was an, there was another reception hapo sasa ndio una, una, unaandika mm. sasa presenter anakukuji i think presenter anapigiwa mm na ulizo kama ulikuwa ukunje kama anakuna information kuhusu aku a, aseme akubali apeane nini so the woman in the reception had had a very very yani she was she had a attitude yani ile attitude yenyewe mbako unasema hii kazi ya imfali avi alikuangalia hivi no yani alikuwa ananiongelesha ile ya ya yeah, sijini vile mwili wangu ni ndogo the was thing that me ni mtoto what do you want nikamwambia nimekuja interview ya yes, sangapi mbona sijui mbona sielewi mbona i was like wait oh my is this she was so unprofessional yani mpaka nikasema mbona umemweka kwa hii kazi kwa nafaa kukua kwa kwa nini kwa mochuari because au watu wengine naongelea hata was apparently oh my god it's kupota ujana Okay, nikapigia ule mwenye ah nani alikwambia ukuje? Mbona sina information kukuhusu? Nikapigia ule mwenye alinipigia, akukua alikuwa kwa field. Oh akukua sasa hapo kwa hiyo building. Mm. Alikuwa nje. Sasa mimi ndio sasa nakuja kujua. Nikamuuliza na uko wapi huyu huyu nani huyu receptionist? Ananiuliza maswali zenye simi inafaa kuji. Kujibu. Nyumbia by the way I'm not in the office right, right now. Niko mahali I'm the, in the field but nita leta nimpe simu ni muongeleshe nikampea simu anamuuliza wewe ni nani akamwambia akamwambia jina yake ndio akamwambia wewe msichana anaenda kwa kipindi fulani ile ya saa saba mm. akamwambia basi umtafutie mahali anakaa hata hakuna mahali anakaa akamwambia haki si wageni wakikujanga hapo wanakaa kwa boardroom <laughs> hmm. so alipangali hivyo akona ufit kwa boardroom Yaani sijui kama interview si, yaani sijui vile alikuwa amenioa. Sasa nikaanza kupanic like sasa hapa nimekuja mbona? Yaani unaona why have I wasted my fear? Eh why have I wasted my fear and my mind and my time kuja hapa only to get this attitude. Yaani so she was so unprofessional. So sorry for that. <laughs> Asi akasema watu wamejaa kwa bodru. Kule akamuuliza watu wa gani wamejaa kwa bodru. Akamwambia watu wamejaa kwa bodru. Usiki. Eh credit yangu ikaisha. Akanipigia. Kaniambia wewe kitu ufanye eh chuka chini utafutia kimali. I'm so sorry for what is good. She was so so like she was so 
kind ai alikuwa tu yake i'm so sorry sikuwa na expect kutaenda hivyo nafuta tu mahali ukae mpaka sasa so she was a lady eh hey, she was so nice siezi msemea vibaya okay. hey. sinika shuka tena nikaenda huko hiyo place ni ya mabombe hata hakuna mahali pa kukazi ni vivi hata kwa barabara hiyo mm. place ni kwa mabombe yani unaona tu ma apartment ma apartment ma apartment ma apartment peke yake yeah. sasa sinitafute mahali pa kukanilitembea mahali mbali so you, you walked out of the building yes yeah, sasa nimeambiwa uwezi ka hapo idol hiyo na kwambia place ni ya mabombe hata magari ziko hapo nje hata uwezi ngalie ngalia ngalia wenyewe hivi ati unapunguza. Sasa kwa na kusecurity. Wewe una hata nilikuwa na wao watu wa security wana. Kwani umerudi aje mapema si wanakuliza ngapi? Unaenda wapi? Walikuwa nafikiria anaenda kutafuta job. Unaenda interview ya job wish all the best. Na mimi nasema yes. So wewe explain ya watu ati oh naenda interview oh you cannot do that. Mimi nikashuka chini. Sasa kufika mahali nataka hata kununua soda kulikuwa na jua. Saa sita imefika kum sana tena kanipigia simu akaniambia judi uko nikamwambia nimetembea place fulani hivi na nimekaa chini ya mti at least ni ngoja hiyo sawa kaniambia nimepigia nimeongea na mtu ameniambia boardroom hakuna watu apparently boardroom ilikuwa imejaa sasa ina sasa ina mtu eh then professional whatever mwenye alikuwa hapo kwa reception receptionist yeah alikuwa amesema Actually she was so bad. I'm telling you. Na ile kampuni kama itauta ule mtu huko. He, hiyo biashara yao itaanguka. Sitaki kuisema ni. Na kusema jina yake mimi ni ati nianze kufuatiliwa eh stuck. So, mm, nikarudi huko. Nikaupata the same attitude woman. Wa. Kaniambia. Unaenda wapi na nilikwambia hakuna nafasi hapa pa ya watu kuka wewe mwanaume akamwambia a a niko na yeye sasa nikapeleka kwa Goldman sasa ulikuja na bodoro gani ule mwenye alipigua simu na ule msichana sasa afa huyu mwanamke mwanamke kurudisha alipigia mwanaume mwingine mwenye anafanya kazi na yeye akamuuliza kama Goldman kuna watu akamwambia Goldman aina watu unaelewa kufika kwa Goldman mwenyewe it was so empty hakuna mtu hata ni TV huko kwa ukuta na hizo viti zinakaa kwa bedroom na meza hivyo this is kenya hmm, this is kenya yani yani kama wewe si mtu unajulikana huko yani they don't even yani wana wana kwa parents wana yeah, wanaona wewe yeah, sasa anatuambia ingekuwa ni mtu ni celebrity mwenye alikuwa angefange treatiwa hivyo hata ange angepelekwa mahali poa apewe mpaka chai na apewe mpaka chai eh yeah. sasa hizi juice julikani ndo manake sasa nikakaa kwa boardroom saa saba ikafika si lazima ngoje ni usiishe nipele kujiwe nikakujiwa na msichana mwingine mm-hmm. mm, na huyo baba mwenye alinisa kwa boardroom ndio alinikujia kaniambia kuja haraka twende nini kipindi karibu kuanza yeah. sasa before ile news ikimalizika mm-hmm. tunakuanga na hizo advert zenye zinakuja yeah nikafika kwa studio. Huyo presenter apparently nimekuwa nikimsikiza since I was in class 6 2012. Yeah? Yaani yule mtu I, I wanted to meet her and yani like, in person you were eager to be yes, her. Like I today. loved her like like na ile postiwa na fulani. Eh, hey, yani she was my mentor. Mpaka nikasema I was like I today I'm going to meet my role model. Yaani hata mimi ni feel that i met my role model we role model for who <laughs> nikavika wanaongea na huyo mwenye anatangaza news wanapiga story saa advert inaenda onea hakuna vile watasikika wanaongea 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 baada ndio wakaniuliza mambo unaitwa yani wananiongelesha zindi wanao like yani no i was i was a stranger but it nikama they were not aware, aware that i was coming we like coming. i surprised them so si ule wa news akaenda wameka viti ni mbili kwa studio mm-hmm. kuna main presenter yuko anakuwa anakuwa ile side mm-hmm. alafu hapa labda wageni wakikuja wawili kitu kingine hapo huyo mm-hmm. mwenye alikuwa anatangaza news ana ana anakaa hapa 
all that time of the story. Imagine I want to share my story And she was so weird. Yani analiza maswali unajua hiyo kipindi nimekuwa nikifuatili I know vile inaenda unaona Yeah Rage si kitu nilikuwa najua yani hiyo interview yangu ikwenda hata ikufika YouTube Si mwenyewe walikuwa na shoot na space ilija niliona niliona Facebook Sa Facebook ni nini walisha if you have any question for Jody please Sasa question watu wanauliza hapo mimi najibu na Na sasa ilifika Facebook lakini YouTube haikufika. Guys, kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo radio kisha iwa story they upload it in on YouTube. Ndio watu wenye wako sikiliza maybe they come and and, and view. Labda mtu anaweza pata kitu yenye amejimekoe kimsumbua for the longest time. So hiyo si mwenye ana shoot nilikuwa nimeona ni iPhone. Nikashindwa iPhone mbona imejaa? Inajaaje? By the way, watu wenye mko na iPhone na kuanga space to me. Yule sisi watu wa Android ni dati 2 GP. So, hii na pili enda ati judi. Si akanzo kushoot. First of all, nikambia uyo mwenye kasichana kadikuwa hapa sijiki ni kanini. Nikamumbia nipike simu na picha ya na simu yangu. Ndiyo ni kumbokanga ni zikujanga hii radio. Haka nipika picha presenta nikuwa meenda enja ya karungi. Haka niambia karimu sana. Sasa... Before to end on here, mm. and I knew so what is your story? Oh my goodness. That's a Nikashindon. If I need to brief, 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 so to kakaribuza swali akaribuza maswali mawili matatu and advert hizo za kwa za kutangaza maswali mwingine mbili interview imeisha naona watu wakikolu huko sio simu ya studio ikikoliwa inanifanyanga ina green inafanya hivi mm. watu walikuwa na call alisoma tu sms moja mm. kwa hiyo kipindi anasomanga kama sms even four can you imagine they wasted my time wakiongea ujimu Imagine time yenye nige nikuwa interviewed watu wapigi waniuliza maswali walikuwa wanafanya nini hata ninasikianga watu wakienda huko anawauliza watu wanaweza kupata wapi kwa mtandao hata siku sema hata mimi siku all of sudden interview me nikaisha hivyo like it was so weird sitaenda tena kwa radio station yote atinaenda ku share my story ukambua thank you to for sharing Ah, skia, si unajua njia ili kuleta. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hii Kenya, guys, yani people judge from the appearance. They judge you from the appearance. Yes, they, they judge you like you. auna gari, you, you are not known, you are not a celebrity in Kenya. You're like nobody. Yes, like your story cannot even make sense. No, no. Eh? Lakini hawa tu wenye wana wana you know yeah, listen unajua hizo stories za maselem ndo wanaona kama yani zinaweza influence watu wengi wa kujipwa biashara yao unaona okay so si mimi nikarudi home nika ule msichana bado akanipigia after the end akaniambia kumeenda aje nikamwambia wewe acha tu nifike home mimi sikuo mfit chat ni nimwambia ti yake kumeenda aje nikamwambia we we <laughs> kulikuwa kubaya Nikuwa kubaya wacha nifike home ni kutekst. Haka niambia ibu ni text. Ni, ni, ni text kila kitu inye wali, walifanya. Nitumie mdosi wao. Hmm. Do awaulize. Nika mtext. Haka niambia actually let me call him. Ni muambia. Nika muambia. Haka niambia but pia mimi naeza niletea shida. Uyu presenter. Hmm. Anaishi mikanga sana. Hapo. Cause me. <coughs> hey. Haka niambia we kitufanye. Eee. Eh, I'm so sorry for what happened. First of all, I'm so sorry for what happened. Mm. But next time, kitu, don't go. 
Yes, but mimi yo 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 nini? Ati kuna namba ingine una 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 SMS at you leo you were treated badly by certain some presenter mm. before you saw me. Mm. In 10 years to come and you saw me. Okay, take time. But uh, I learned something. Not all that printers is good. Kuna na ama celebrities wenye tunashiru tumewa adore like kuna mwingine nilikuwa namwambia nilikuwa namkomentia na Instagram namwambia you look beautiful your yes, lipstick looks nice the lipstick looks nice on you si ananijibu ananiambia thank you judi mpaka ananiambia thank you judi yeah. sasa kwa moja nikamwambia niko na business sinataka uniadvertise and wewe nijibu ta huyo siku this compliment naona, naona these celebrities when you know shit to me do like we see them as goddesses and go and go and like god hata ile heshima tupe yangi mungu vile tumewaheshimu mingi they don't want the best for us like for real yani wana ni vile tu wanasema huko they are so they are selfish, so selfish. yani they are so selfish na wambia anataka you tu nyinyi mwambie yani yeye asikie tu uko juu uko juu lakini wewe akusaidia hata kukutangazia biashara yako upate pesa at least ukwe na maisha poa kama yeye hiyo hawezi fanya i'm telling you guys it was so bad yani i learned so many things mpaka nikajiuliza yani hivi ndio au watu ndio tumewafanya wakwe celebs uko juu ndio watatufanya and they see you as nothing but anyway But that's a bad uh, yeah. mm, mm, you two guys don't don't you don't you know, don't you know, don't you know, don't don't you know, 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 don't and at least hata nini response yenye niliona kwa facebook mm. after kushare hiyo post mm. it was not that negative what when you were on it was it was positive but kama any ka youtube kama ni what when you are from the link no no watu wengi usikiza kwa ndio unaona bando spia ni shida upate taguende so, lakini us- watu wangekuwa na nafasi ya kuniuliza maswali as a victim unaona youtube and and facebook all those platforms wewe siwezi wajibu unaona lakini wangeniuliza labda mtu hajapiga simu ange that's what i'm no, no. like mm. kuna mtu alikuwa anataka kuuliza swali mm. na kusikia but kuna mtu alisikia and hiyo she was in their lives they said they did not post on youtube and all that just know you changed you changed at that summit and someone was inspired just forgive them we blunt let's say we go yani cuz other see tumesoma from that story tuko psychologically prepared when you go to a registration you may receive attitude or you may By the way, when I walk away. Okay, wow. anyway, guys. Bye. <laughs> subscribe to this channel and also subscribe to Maranga family. Guys, thank you for watching this video. We have the bazoo here, you know, cuz we want to eat cake. You want to eat cake again? Okay, okay. Bye, bye guys. Say hi guys. Say hi guys. Hi guys. What is your name? What is your name? Um, Stop eating your finger. Say your name. What is your name? Uh-huh. Willy. Your name is Willy. Mm-hmm. Mama kwa anaitwa nani? Na daddy. Na daddy. Wow.